Do you love your battery powered sprayer, but you run out of chemicals just before you finish up the job with a two gallon sprayer? Perhaps you have a large four gallon backpack sprayer, but your arm gets really tired, constantly pumping the pump manually. Well, today we unbox the Impro four gallon backpack battery powered sprayer with a 24 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery pack. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Today we're going to open up this brand new Impro backpack sprayer. It's the 24 volt, four gallon backpack sprayer. Picked it up last week from Ewing's Irrigation and Landscape Supply Company. So let's dig into it and see what we've got. Rechargeable backpack sprayer user using care manual. Let's go through that. This is the wand, like a nice metal stainless steel wand. Awesome. Already attached. Set it aside. Filter. See the top. Charger for the battery. Comes with this, it's a Jenkin 24 volt rechargeable battery. Also comes with some extra parts. To install the wand assembly, make sure you have your O-ring on. There's a small O-ring. See if we can pick that up. There you go. Simply insert the first. First, let's measure. I had someone ask on Instagram, my Instagram page, sunny.bermuda, how long the, the wand was. We'll do from the tip. So we got right at 22 inches, maybe 22 and a half inches. Wand, let's install it. Have to make sure your O-ring's on. And screw this on. The retaining nut. Now the nozzle, it came with this nozzle already attached to the wand assembly here. Also came with a secondary, I did check the owner's manual and they are identical. This, this is the uh, brass nozzle cap. It's already assembled. This is actually called a nozzle kit. It has a number associated with it, so you can reorder these if needed. And also, the, this is called the poly nozzle cap. It basically has a small hole. Not sure if you can see it, it's about a pin size hole. Probably basically for cleaning, like if you have some high windows. You want to squirt some product in. It just shoots out a strong, steady stream. And then of course, and then a blast, the fan nozzle. This this would be great for applying stuff like liquid iron to your yard or any of their foliar application. There's also in this sprayer there's a uh, three stage filtering system. Step one, of course, is your your top here. You should always leave this on whenever you're putting in product. 
This is stage one. It filters out any, any large items. And then stage two is inside the tank. Right, it's right next to the uh, pump assembly. Let's see if we can see down in there. There we go. You can actually reach down in here, and pop it out. You see it's a small filter. This leads directly into the pump assembly. You simply just push it down in there. It clicks in place. That's the second phase. And then the third stage is actually here at the bottom, right at the base of your wand. Show you real quick. The pretty typical among all backpack sprayers. There it is at the end. See, it looks even smaller filter. So you have your three stage filtering system. Also in the manual, it shows how to take apart your trigger assembly. Basically unscrew this and all your, your springs and your O-rings and parts come out of here in case one gets clogged up or it needs, a, needs to be replaced. Everything comes apart. All right, we can turn this around. At the bottom, you'll see there's your on-off switch. It's your typical toggle switch. Your strap system. It comes with a, a back path, which is attached to the bottom of the sprayer here with some small hooks. Drop these on. Basically hook onto the bottom here. The top is basically Velcro. Of the back pad. Then your typical shoulder straps. They're very thick shoulder straps. This is the uh, lumbar support. This goes on this way. And what we'll do is this. These hooks down here, they hook onto your frame right here. So if it's snap on. And pull this around. And of course, it'll be need to be loosened because I don't think I have a 20 inch waist. We'll have to loosen this up. So, to the appropriate, you know, width of your waist. See if you can see that. There we go. See that a little better now. And this fully adjustable. Looks like you got plenty of room to if you're a larger guy. Same with these clips here. This will you slide up and hook comfortably around your chest. Looks like you can actually take them apart and you know move them up into the various positions. A little hook across your chest. Like such. And I'll try this on in just a minute and show you. And then we'll take a take this spray, sprayer out for a little spin. As soon as the battery finishes charging. If you're enjoying this video and find this sprayer pretty interesting, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment. You can see this, I filled it up. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with just water. That way I can spray it on the driveway. I can see my pattern, you know, adjust it as necessary, get used to the different spray tips and replace my spray tips if needed with some T-Jets. But I wanna show you the markings. You have to actually take the sprayer off and pull back the back to actually see the markings, which is, I guess, a little aggravating. It'd be nice if they had put them on the side here. You see one gallon, two gallons, three, and of course four is way up here, very top. You see right here, it also has leaders on this side, it's on the back. That's the only thing I do not like so far that I've seen. Some markings behind it, makes it hard to see. 
You have to actually take all that off just to see the markings. While we wait for the battery to charge, let's take a quick look at the manual. And like I said before, this is a, a Chapin model produced by Chapin and the Ewing brand, I guess, licensed the, this particular sprayer with their Impro insignia. I'll show it right here, Impro. And this is a uh, model 64921. In fact, I got it off the pallet shortly after it arrived at the Ewing, at my local Ewing's. But one thing that was nice in here, shows how to put everything together. There's your sprayer nozzle components, your different components, your three different ones. You got your poly nozzle cap and your brass, and then your fan nozzle, you know, three different figures showing you how to put it together. Also your disassembly and repairing of the shutoff valve. There's your filter at the bottom. There's your valve stem. So you had to put it, take it apart and put it together. And also it's got a replacement parts ordering information. You have various uh, nozzle kits you can buy with the numbers, a new one assembly, shutoff assembly, and then your shutoff valve repair kit assembly. It's really nice. I mean, a lot of, a lot of these manuals don't have all this information because you're always breaking some small part and then you end up having to throw the entire thing away. But here you can actually go in and, you know, call the company and buy the specific part number. Okay, it took a while for the battery to finish charging up. These are the markings that needs charging. That's one quarter, a half, and three fourths. The last light means it's three fourths charged up on the battery. So it's fully charged now. We're gonna put it in the bareback sprayer and the battery slides in the side right here. Let's see, right there. The two metal prongs. Slide it in. interesting it's kind of hard to slide in there you can see it hits this big piece of plastic here see if I can force it in there oh there we go it's already turned on that's kind of odd that there's a that large piece of plastic let's see if we can pull it out easy and put it back in see how hard it is to <clears throat> But not easy. Bear hug it. Ugh. Ouch. All right, let's put it back in. It might just be me. There you go. <clears throat> Look too bad. Try one more time. To remove it. Reach in it here. Pull it out. Insert it, put it in there. It's a very snug fit. There you go. The manual said to, to prime it first, so we take this off. So that's a shoot. Shoot it back into it. Power on. See if I can strap this bad boy on and give it a whirl. pretty easy. I really like the lower back support. The lumbar support feels really good on the lower back. Turn it on. That's pretty far. Let's see how far we can get it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
11, 11, about 33 feet shot. That's just me walking it off. The ba one battery charge is supposed to pump 50, 58 gallons. That's quite a, quite a few refills. Okay, now I'll go change out the end. I have to replace the tips on these nozzle assemblies. I'm going to take the adjustable brass one off, set it aside. Pull up my little lawnmower here. That's pretty cool. Won that in the contest this past Christmas. Actually, my daughters did. <laughs> okay, we take this off. Set it aside. Let's drop our assembly down in there. That should come through. There you go. And then we'll put our rubber gasket in. So it doesn't leak. And then we just spin it on. Let's go see how it's crazy. That's if I walk too fast, it's not very coverage hitting as good. Let me just walk out straight through there. So walk a little faster. Do coverage now. Oh. There spot. There, there. Up here. Overall pretty good. Do it one more time. We'll walk past. Alright. Once it got going it did pretty good. Fair spot there, and then up here at the beginning again. For some reason, it just hiccups right there. Right, pretty good. Overall, I was extremely satisfied how it operated. The battery was a little difficult to put on because it hit this. You can see right there, it hits this plastic piece. I'm not sure why it juts out. I guess maybe for support or strength of the unit. But yeah, it hits right there. So it's kind of difficult to slide in. Once the undulation of the the motor kicked in, it was it had a very good even an even spray pattern. If you like this video, give it, give it a thumbs up, please. Leave me a, a message in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. See you in the next one.